a summary screen. This is the first time we've got one of these. If no one remembers something, does that mean it never happened? Ruka Minazuki, another one of the girls who disappeared ten years previously, comes to Rogat's Isle after Misaki in Madoka. Ruka grew up on the island, but after the incident, she and her mother left. Ruka has her own reasons for coming here. Ruka wants to piece together her lost memories. Why doesn't she remember where she was born? Or what her father looked like? Okay. Pause for a second. Does anyone actually remember where they were born? <laughs> I'm not saying where you grew up. I'm saying like, do you have memories of your birth? Most people don't. <laughs> What, does, what was done to her and the other girls? What happened on the island the day they were taken? While exploring Rogat's Hall in search of the key to her memories, Ruka encounters the ghost of Madoka in the room next to the Aso Museum. She then looks in the mirror and is greeted with a vision of her own face, warped and distorted. So does this mean Madoka died then? That was her ghost. <laughs> Phase four, void, Ruka Minatsuki. Are we already in chapter four? God damn. Good for us. This game is in desperate need of a texture pack, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need to do some video editing to cut the end of that chapter before I took a break. So for those watching on YouTube, you know a little bit of insight into my recording process and also how poor I am at timing when I get up to fill my water. There we go. I didn't even need to point the flashlight at it. I could just... Move the camera around, I guess. Red spirit stone. Okay, I wanted to check the spirit stones. Do they have individual... I don't think we have individual inventories. So, what do we want to do? Maximum number of storage spirit points. Spirit power. We definitely want ghosts and we definitely want storage. That should be good. Search the area. Well, that's productive, I suppose. Whenever you see Ruka like walk around weirdly like that, it's just because the game doesn't like that I'm turning my camera. It gets confused. I have no idea what to do with that is. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, that was annoying that I didn't get that ghost photo. Oh well, it's only 500 points, not really worth much. Okay. 
Uh. Yes, we're gonna switch it off. Why wouldn't we? Dear Lord. <laughs> There's a logbook by the switch. One item to report today. Experimented today with musical therapy by playing music over the speakers between 12 and 5 p.m. As usual, the music was a selection from the moon sounds. Some patients, especially the youngest children, were seen to pre present extreme reactions not normally seen in them. Since therapy has been proven to produce an effect, it may be carried out again in the future. However, I believe that most of the reactions seen today were not positive. The behavior of our patients still holds many mysteries for us. The next time such experiments are carried out, please prepare as such as possible, as much as possible for unanticipated situations. Yeah, I mean, that checks out, but also maybe don't do it if it agitates them. Just a thought. Uh. Light for room 207 is lit up. Ayako is written on the nameplate. We're going to be the new toy. <laughs> You've got a kid. Ah! Um. <laughs> well. It didn't count as a combo for some reason, but we'll take it. She's behind me, yeah. She's like right over here. Yep. I didn't realize that I could see their health in the top left until I was using the flashlight. It's to my right. Oh no. Where are ya? There you are. Alright, she's, she's got one more hit. Memo, musical therapy. A meeting will take place tomorrow at 6 p.m. to explain the experimental treatment of playing music over the speaker system. Information about the location of the meeting will follow. The new nurse in charge of room 207 in the new building should bring the music score from the room next door. So, 208? Wait. gotta be it's like 208 or something which one is this that's 203 where's Ayako's room somewhere around isn't it I'm also looking for those Hozuki dolls To a six. I don't know if we've even been in here yet. Oh yeah, we have. This is the boys' room. Does so? Does everyone get a different Hozuki doll note? I don't know if that actually was a Hozuki doll or not. Not really sure.
Uh, a repeated fight. For no reason, we just fought her. Okay, I guess it wasn't a fight. Blue spirits down. Got a mirror stone. Oh, we can have more than one now. That's sick. Unless it was Misaki that got one before. I don't remember. Ayako, female, age 12, room 207. Patient exhibits symptoms of sudden memory loss as well as singular lack of ethics and morality. Exemplified in the enjoyment she gets from causing pain and taking life. She may be using aggressive behavior as a means to keep a grip on her sense of self. Other patients have displayed tendencies to uh, cling to objects or aspects of personality, but Ayako is the first to cling to violence. Her moonlight syndrome may only be in a moderate stage of advancement, but she requires careful observation. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I knew it. You can't get me, game. She's genuinely just a pest. She's got a lot of health, though. She's got a real quick shutter chance. That's rough. Oh gosh, she's right there. There we go. Just another 20 minute long fight against a ghost that uh, should be relatively easy to beat. Yeah, that's right. Come for me. I dare you. Get out of here, you pest. Navigating in these super tight rooms is kind of a pain, but... so much damage but I also can't really risk a fatal frame on her because she's just extremely powerful moves really quickly and I don't get a lot of space okay that did nothing you know, we're never really in danger in these moments. There she is. Yeah, tricky game. I know she's still out here. Yeah. There she is. There we go. Did a decent amount of damage there. I think the next one might be able to kill her if we're careful. Maybe not that one, but <laughs> if we can get like a good full-on charge, we might be able to do something. There we go.
love this horrible croaking sound we're hearing. Music score. If I remember something, I might remember something if I played on the dining hall piano, found a notebook. Memory and music are deeply connected. I've seen many examples of music prompting the recollection of forgotten memories. One such case was a patient of mine who would play various phrases on a piano, seemingly using the notes and phrases as tools to explore her own mind. She started to play several similar phrases over and over, changing the key slightly each time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Those phrases must have had some connection with her deeply buried memories. The improvement in her condition was dramatic and surprising. Unfortunately, she killed herself after recovering her memories. This case ended in failure, but what's certain is that music can reach deep regions of the mind inaccessible to mere language. There is music like that on this island. I remember hearing it when I was a child. They called them moon sounds. But there are different kinds of moon sounds, but I remember some of them being used during rituals and festivals. Most of the moon sounds have been passed down by word of mouth. These melodies are ancient, but I've definitely seen documents about them somewhere. Seems it was worth coming back to the island in the end. Girl, can you quit it? Can you not? Red cords are tied between the posts. Yeah, nothing in here. All right, the creak, the creaky ghost, the grudgeoning is is stopping. So that's probably a good thing. I swear to God, if I have to fight Ayako again, I'm going to lose my mind. She's not very threatening. <laughs> We're never really in danger during those fights. It's just, it just takes forever. Granted, we are playing on hard mode, but what can I say? It's what I do. Make sure to save. I also have to check if a Hozuki note is available for every individual character or not. It is not. Okay, so everyone shares Hozuki notes. Make ourselves just unkillable. Spooky. Yeah, no, it's like all the way back here, isn't it? There's something on the floor for me. There we go. Shotgun film. Okay, love that. You know, the map in, in this game, at least, isn't really that big in comparison <laughs> to the other Fatal Frames. It's just you walk so slowly. <laughs> it's like genuinely irritating to walk around at this speed. Good, it saved. Oh god, I hate how the uh the buttons are mapped. I just cannot stand them. 
Yay, red spirit's down. We use those to upgrade lenses, I think. Something like that. I should be using the power shot more often, right? So let's look at enhancements to lenses. Blast, take a powerful shot when used, sure. Aha, interesting. Very interesting, okay. So we'll be able to get another power upgrade for sure soon. Or sensitivity upgrade, something like that. Check around, try to shine on our flash, our flashlight around. Come on, game. Where was it? It's over here. It's glowing the more we shine a light around. Come on. I know it's supposed to be right here, but where's the item? I want the item. Give me the item. Is it seriously just telling me that there's an interactable right there? Because I don't think it is. It's supposed to only show me items. Or is it behind the projector? Probably. Like right up here? Nope. Not in love with the way you're supposed to uh, reveal items, but it's fine. Play the piano by following the notes. Press the button corresponding to each glowing key to play it. You'll be successful. Fuck, do I have to be able to... Oh. I, I just try... I just press the button. There we go. Cranberry juice is very good. Toaster tip. Drink some cranberry juice, you'll like it. Yes, I always took that lift. Girl, you knew you took that lift. <laughs> Blue Spirit Stone. Okay, perfect. Camera Obscura. That's what we want. Shine the light on the thing. Come on. There we go. Sweet. We love a red spirit stone in this house. Probably going to be a ghost fight in this corridor, huh? Just seems like a ghosty place. Woman in black lurking. Is it back this way? I don't remember. I don't remember where we're going. Investigate the lift. Oh, is it back here? Might be. We might just be doing a big circle. All right. 
try our best here. We've already been in here, right? No? Can't go in anyway. That's like our only other way to go though, isn't it? Is the lift on the second floor? Is it up there? Oh, it's right there. Duh. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Holy smokes. Wait, why doesn't she investigate it? What? Is that not the lift? I guess that wasn't the lift. Jeez. There's something underneath the stairs for me to pick up. That's what that's telling me. Trying our best here and it's just not going well. <laughs> Paula says, I bet it's ghost hand. I wish. can't go in I want to uh, just desperately I want to cheat engine the game so that I walk two times faster I don't care if everything else moves two times faster just improve the speed dear god I'm begging you okay I just revealed something there is it on the light can I interact nope okay all right whatever you say game the way this reveal mechanic works is infuriating. Is this not the lift I'm supposed to investigate? Doesn't seem to be. <gasps> oh my god, I saw my shadow down there. Let's move backwards. Look at how weird this shadow is reflected all the way down. <laughs> Look at that, way down there. That is very silly. <laughs> there we go. Hey, blue stones. Yay, blue stone. All right, so can't go there, can't use the lift. How does it want me to investigate it then? That's our conundrum. And we're back here, okay. Ghost hand? Nope. <sighs> God, what do we do? What do we do? Where do we go? It's said to investigate the lift. That's the only lift we've been able to find, right? Do we need to go out through there? Just that front door? If there's like just some like perfect location you need to be standing in front of the lift in order to go there, I'm going to be very irritated. Yeah, I can't go through there. All right, back to the lift we go, I guess. This hotel looks very similar to the school in Moonlight Syndrome, just the way that things are like, just the graphic design of it. You can tell Suda has a very specific idea of what is a creepy uh, public space. 
she should not be panting right now. You are not exerting yourself. All right. Newspaper rack containing several ancient looking newspapers. I am, I'm actually losing my mind. My, my brain, my brain is losing its sanity. This is the lift. Why can we not investigate the lift like it told us to investigate? Oh my god. Spooky. Letter dropped by woman in black. What could be the matter with you of, of, of late? Why are you in such a foul mood? Back then, when first I told you about how I felt about you, you rejected me completely and utterly. Even though you always smiled at me after you became me. I want to see you smile like that again. Where shall we go for our walk today? <laughs> Narig says she's panting and seeing ghosts because she's in a low oxygen environment. Very correct. She's just, uh, she's suffering from horrible carbon monoxide poisoning. Information about lift. The lift services floors one to four. A key is required to access the fourth floor. The lift is powered from the underground switchboard room and can be switched on and off from there. The code to activate the switch is 23. Please go to the switchboard room in the event of a power related lift failure. Bogat's Hall was built as a sanatorium extension to Hybara Infirmary, but there are also guest facilities on the first floor. Oh, okay, so this explains what this building is. The rooms in the building have all been named with a moon motif. 101, Harmonious Moon. 102, Glorious Moon. The Asso Museum is a room dedicated to Professor Asso's visit to the island and features important materials on display. Entrance is free. Anyone wishing to visit should apply at reception. Pale Moon, the pool in the Moonflower Garden courtyard, may also be used freely between July and October. Note to staff regarding underground floors. Entrance to rooms other than the switchboard room and water storage room is strictly prohibited. Alright, well... It's not really hard to get the wandering ghost pictures when the game switches the camera and shows you them before you're it's like, this is going to sound so bizarre to people who don't play fighting games. It's grappler freeze, where you like, you get a super flash, but then still can react on the first frame afterwards. So all you have to do is hold up to avoid getting like SPD or whatever. Like, that's exactly what we just experienced. She's not fading. She's just over there. Good for you, girl. Nice work. Slow lens. Oh, how wonderful. Slow lens is nice. Seems like we're going to be spending most of this game playing as Ruka, so not too concerned. We'll go investigate the ghost lady in a minute. I want to curl around here and pick up whatever's on the ground. Ghost hand? Nope. Nice. What did I just reveal? I revealed something. There we go. Can 
Arkham just throws upgrade materials at you. Look at a pretty fishy. Pool reflects the light cast by the moon. The surface gleams darkly, obscuring the depths below. How nice. Hinges are rusted. Must have been a changing room for the pool. Interesting. Is that a fishy? It looks like a fishy or something else. Oh no, that's just the moonlight. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, is there anything down there before I trigger what feels like a boss fight? There probably is, but I'm not going to explore it. Decrepit corpse. Touch the corpse, Ruka. It's sanitary. Okay, I won't. Girl, cool, chill, I said I wouldn't. Oh god, I'm cornered. Not good. Oh yeah, they're ghosts. I can just walk through them. Oh, until they just do damage to me as I'm running away because I walk at a speed of a mile every 10 days. This girl, I swear. Oh god. Learn to walk, lady. Oh, she can speed up a little bit, I guess. So all they're repeating over and over again is like, don't touch me. Oh god, instant death. Gotta be careful. Did I kill her ghost double? I think I might have. Where is she? Close. 
Ah, this is annoying. <laughs> what an annoying fight. Kind of gets to the issue that the combat in these games are just not very good. Does she need to be in moonlight to see her or something? How is she still alive? That's my question. Oh my god, die already. Get off me. Alright. I mean, I understand that the gimmick of this fight is that there are two of them, but I don't really understand the actual gimmick of the fight, which seems to be that one of them disappears whenever I target her. What is going on? <laughs> like, what is the deal with that? I don't understand. Do I just need to kill the, the doll here for it to, to get a single opening on her? I think I do. There's something lying on the ground by the pool. Copper key for the switch room. That's right downstairs. Gotcha. Is this an actual fight, or is this an instant kill ghost? I assume this is an instant kill ghost, and we just need to avoid. Bye! Oh god, is she gonna chase us the whole way? No? Okay. Sick deal. Is this the right way? I feel like I just walked backwards. I did. All right, well, we beat that. We got to the switchboard room, which is good. And that's the inner garden in there.
So this isn't in the basement, is it? No, this is just like the first floor of the building. Why did it say it was in the basement? Oh, because we have to go downstairs from in here. Got it. Trying to reveal everything. Come on. There we go. More shotgun film. That is awesome. So yeah, that was a kind of irritating fight. It kind of gets to the core of this series issue, I think, which is just that the fights are obnoxious. It's super tedious, especially on hard mode. <laughs> what is this? Cool. This is a room we can go in. Right? No, nothing in there. Ooh, sacred water. How wonderful. Is this just back up to the garden? That's what it sounds like from the from the ambiance, but let's just be sure. What the the hell is this? Yep, it's the garden, alright. So we're doing pretty well on healing items despite having to use a bunch of herbal medicine. Switchboard room. There we go. If I find out there's an item anywhere that she just shined her flashlight, I'm going to lose it. More type 14, okay. Oh, is this gonna be a spirit stone? No, on duty nurse's memo. Today's on duty nurse, the password for the door to the third floor ward has been changed to 1956. There are some extremely sick patients on the third floor, so please be very careful with the door to that floor. 1956, gotta remember that. Yeah, switchboard is written on the menu, metal. It's rusted shut completely. All right, we got to do... Doesn't it need to be 13? <coughs> no, is that not how it works? There we go, we brute forced it, 23. We skipped a puzzle. Uh... Well, I guess we missed that ghost too. What else is in here? Anything good? <laughs> Can we go down there or can we truly not enter? If the living may not enter here, then good, I don't want to be dead. Nope, we can't enter. Good to know. We'll listen to you, ghost man. You didn't hurt me, so you must be a friend. There we go. Here's lens. Oh, excellent. We'll check what that does, maybe later. What? You gotta be kidding me. That woman is coming, that's what he says. Ano nagakuru. At least that's what it sounded like he said. Ah, 
All right, we got him down to about half health, right? Where's he coming from? Come at me. Oh, I missed the combo chance? How'd that happen? Worst possible spot for a ghost to appear. Come for me, dude. Not dead yet. We'll get him in a sec. Let's see. This fight's awkward. Why do they always put the fights in the most awkward hallways? It's not like tricky gameplay to deal with. It's just annoying because they're inside the walls half the time. On the Court of the Unhallowed. The Court of the Unhallowed is the residence of the deceased. The faces of the deceased can change and thus be in danger of blossoming. On the first sign of blossoming in the deceased, thou must harvest the face and remove the bud. Being done, thou must place a false face on them that doth be like their face to preserve their appearance as when living. The mask becometh part of the deceased. The mask becometh the deceased. The deceased becometh the mask. Let not the living into the court of the unhallowed, lest their minds be lost and they be in danger of budding. Only those who are trained and have moonlight in their soul may enter. But be thou warned, let not any soul into the court on nights when the moon be not full. Taft says, at least the directional audio is reliable so you can pinpoint where they're coming from. Yeah, it is very nice that I just don't really need to pay attention to anything other than that. <laughs> Okay, that was weird. It gave me a, like, item marker, but there doesn't appear to be an item anywhere. There we go. Cool. All right, now we just run back to the lift, right? 1956? Something like that? Oh, God. Evil ghost is coming after us. Don't worry, we'll completely outrun her. The only way to get caught by her would be to just run in the opposite direction and then run backwards into her. <laughs> Thankfully, the ghost that can float through walls hasn't learned how to deal with floors or doors yet, so nothing she can really do. How does it know that I'm right here? How did it know that? There was a ghost in it. Got it. He just wanted a little sniff. He was like, how's my breath, Ruka? Oh, and you know, I'm kind of decrepit, decaying. <laughs> 